I would. Should we get a barbecue there a few weeks ago? And didn't the meat come free with it? Did you get a chance to use it yet, Eileen? Thought I smelled smoke the other night. Not at all. Sure, not I still looking at it in its box unopened? If himself ever got off his fat arse to do anything, to be to lie down on top of me. Son of a bitch. At least you still have him to look after you. To warm your front and protect your back. Or is it the other way around? Oh, shell, I'm sorry. I wasn't thinking, here's me nattering on and on. Is there any news on... No. They can't tell me anything. It's, uh, it's still classified. But it's been two fucking weeks. How can they not say whether he's alive or fit? No, he's not. He's not dead. I think I'd feel it. You know, deep down. Yeah. A mother would know. Of course you would. If Luke wasn't he always a fighter. That time you all got jaundice, it got him the worst. And he beat that, just like he'll beat whatever they've thrown at him out there. Oh, but sure, that was different, Eileen. He had his whole family around him then. Who does he have to look after him now? In, in that place? God forbid, but if he's injured, you know, we all think of him as one of our own. It takes a village. Yeah, I know. It's so hard. You know, first Michael, and now my boy. This family has given too much for that cause, Eileen. He's just. He's just too good for them to take, you know? The best. We're way far north of a rendezvous point, Captain. This is DMZ. Well, Private, why don't you go over there to that hide-and-go-seek motherfucker and inform him that we are presently astride an area that some pin-pushing bubblehead has declared a neutral zone. No? I didn't think so. Now stop talking to me about fucking procedure. And maybe we live through the next four minutes. Raquel! Raquel! Get up there and tell me what's the want to do you? God! Damn it, Private, your captain has just given you a direct order. I want you to get up and start shouting coordinates at me. Pronto! Why did you let him sign up? He'd have listened to you if you put your foot down. Jesus Christ, Eileen. Don't you think I thought of that? But there was no talking to me. As soon as he came of age, that was that. Said there was nothing on earth he'd rather do. And of course I thought of Michael. Jesus, how could I not? But there he was, leading the way. While at home I slowly watched his son turning into it. How could I hold Aiden back with one hand? Well, the other one wanted to push him out the door. I know. I know. It was all he talked about. Welcome back, sunshine. You're for a Sunday stroll? I think I'm going to crawl on your balls that way, yeah? More cover. Get us out of this Salvador Dali looking shithole, son. Be careful. It's hairy as a motherfucker out there.
Michelle. Oui. I. I mean. Um, I, have to, I have to go to the toilet. Come on. I don't want this. Go on. I thought he said his mother's name was Michelle. It is. <coughs> it is. It's talking bollocks. Uh, it's the. Uh, the morphine's gone foolish. Are you okay, man? Let me know if there's any word. I have to go make dinner for himself. Of course, Eileen. Sure, call over again tomorrow if, if you get the chance. Bye, Michelle.